Hey everyone and welcome to Armored Warfare. We are on the Russian test server so everything you see in here is subject to change. But um, what we have here on the test server um, is the patch with tier 10 vehicles. So we have actually several different tier 10 vehicles, not for um, the Fang. But I would say let's start with the, yeah, 2A7-140. Um, this is the basic um, preview, so... Molo way, nothing too crazy that we don't already know from the live servers preview. Um, it costs 22, basically 23 million to buy this tank. And it's called 140, but you start with 120 smoothboard gun. Um, with the first upgraded version, 650 damage and 666 penetration. But you can also get a 140mm rifled gun. Oh, by the way, reload time is based 8.57 seconds. And for the 140, we have 770 damage alpha, that's 151 more. We have 798 millimeters of penetration, 164 more. Um, but we also have a reload time of 10 seconds flat. Aim time 2.9, 2.9, accuracy 0 0.12, and where is the accuracy here? 0 0.13, so 0 0.01 um, worse. So gun wise, yeah, penetration of 798 is pretty decent. Let's see the stock armor. We put this one on here. So against AP we have 618 millimeters of armor. Okay, and with the upgrade we only get more side armor and extra armor on the back. I really hope I'll I am able to uh, get into a match to actually buy all these vehicles, but right now I, yeah, no luck with finding a match, so I can't unlock these right now. But from the stats wise, yeah, okay. Engine, I think there are no major changes. 5.7 seconds compared to the 2A6. 5.7 seconds so yeah nothing too crazy here but that's that's the 2A7 140 with 140 millimeter rifled gun um, no defense retrofit slot a mobility no offensive one universal so you get one mobility and one universal um, retrofit that's not not really much Anyways, let's head over to the US and A with their XM1A3. The preview of this tank. Let's render all the stuff. Okay, it's looking yeah, pretty brutal, like we know it, with a lot of era on the side. Um, yeah, but also nothing too crazy here. Let's see the stats. So we can upgrade era, okay, but it won't change the hull armor at all. So we're 720 on the front and the chassis and 923 on the turret. Okay, that's Yeah, nothing nothing too crazy. You also start with a base 120mm gun. But upgrade to 140 millimeters, um, so 151 more damage, like in Leopard, 164 millimeters more penetration. Uh, I think something around the same thing, like for the Leopard. The accuracy is better than from the Leopard. It's 0 
I think it was 13 for the Leopard. Aim time should be the same with 2.9 and also the reload time of 10 seconds is basically the same. But the difference between those two is defense, firepower, universal and another universal. So you have four slots for retrofits, actually two universal, one firepower, one defense um, that you can use while the Leopard only has two. And this pretty much sucks and is kind of unbalanced, my opinion. But yeah, it is what it is. And yeah. Also, nothing too crazy going on here. Let's see what else we have. We have the Sphinx. The preview is again. Basically what we already know. Let's see the stats of the thing. It has basically no armor at all. You can't even see the multiplier for different arm uh, ammo types, but yeah, it's actually pretty good to see that you basically have the same armor on the side like in the front. So probably you will bounce a few auto cannon hits. But on this thing you can upgrade the modifiers from... Oh! Oh, that's actually not too bad. So you can increase your armor by around 50% and that's actually not too bad at all. So. With the armor upgrade, you'll be able to bounce or not get penetrated by most auto cannons. I would say that's actually pretty good. So let's see how fast is this thing. Um, oh, okay, you get more camo with this one. This was actually pretty awesome. So thermal sights are increased and 20% more camo while driving. This is actually pretty damn sick. What's the base camo on this thing? Um, camo rating of... Th wow! 0 0.385. This is actually pretty damn good for this thing. And with a max speed of 110 and 0 to 32 in 2 seconds. Oh my god, this is actually really amazing. And 40mm auto cannon, you have a clip of 13, base damage of 224 and 272 um, penetration. Yeah, you will have a hard time penetrating targets with this, even in the side. So when we head back to the Leopard. With the base armor, yeah, you can penetrate, but with um, the extra armor, no way to penetrate this one. And 220. Yeah, you should hit 250, 260, something around this, and you have. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Mm. Okay, probably, yes, you can penetrate main battle tanks from the side, but you really need a good, good angle of, um, yeah, angle to hit them. So, actually not too bad, yeah. And HE explosive, yeah, it's not, nothing too crazy here. Oh yeah, right, reload time of 12 seconds for the whole clip. Um, so, but yeah, it's, it's what it is. It's a 40 millimeter auto cannon. Um, you should be able to give main battle tanks a real hard time with this vehicle, especially with the speed, the camo rating, the increased camo while driving. So that's actually a pretty interesting vehicle. I really have to say this. Okay. So we've done with Wolfly and now head over to Shishkin. 
Um, I would say let's see the Merkava, Merkava to be whatever. The, first, the preview. It's looking actually pretty sick. I really, really like how this tank looks. And even caging at the back of the turret, so yes, yeah, spaced armor at the sides, ex some extra skirts. But the angle on this armor plate down here is really not the best. Uh, shooting on the front plate or on the turret, forget about it. But on flat terrain, I would shoot here like like hell so let's see the stats of it so we have 280 in the turret but yeah since you have so uh, yeah um amazing um such an amazing angle on the turret i i don't think anything will go through there everything everyone will bounce and 542 millimeters in the front. 542. Let's see, we are on tier 7. We have 501 on the T80, and I think this one is one of the best penetrating tier 7s. Let's see this. Stingray, oh no, no, let's see the XM8, it's one tier higher, and you have 515, so the frontal armor is actually pretty awesome, I have to say, so, yeah, that's, that's really amazing, but the turret is, what the fuck is going on there, I'm pretty sure the stats aren't finished for this vehicle, um, even on the test server, it's edge, yeah. 999 million and so on um, gold so i'm pretty sure the stats aren't finished for this one and also we can't see um the, the different armor for different types of ammunition because side armor 55 wow this is basically nothing talking about nothing the turret has nothing in the back so zero millimeters in the back i don't think so so these are really not finished stats at all. And I would say the same about its armament because when we're looking at the 105mm gun, okay, where do we also have 105mm in tier 7? Right, Leopard. Let's see, we have a damage of around 390 and penetration of 360. 390, 360. Oh, right. The Leopard 2 has 120 and has 458, 440. That's a lot more. Reload time 8.57 compared to 8 seconds. So we shoot 0.5.6 faster but with so less damage and penetration um and even the accuracy sucks we are on a 105 millimeter cannon i think it should be not a smooth board but a rifle gun with accuracy of 0 0.14 this is fuck me and the aim time of 3.4 seconds so i'm really sure these stats are not the final stats not at all this thing would suck balls and no one would actually buy this so yeah I i'm pretty sure they will do some work on this thing but let's head over to the t14 armata and first the preview so again no real model changes here and i'm not really sure if this hole here is intended but it seems like so when you get someone in your sight you can just shoot here completely in your um, smoke grenade thrower show a little bit of the side of your turret and someone will shoot in there sure 
Um, as far as I remember, the turret is... Um, so you have no people in there, so you get less damage when someone is penetrating your turret. But um, seeing this, armor, no armor at all. So everything should be able to shoot through here. And this is not, not actually the best thing to have on a tank like this. So let's see the stats. Let's begin with the armor. The armor is actually pretty awesome. It's not like um, it should be on real one where you have over 100, uh, 900 millimeters overall. Um, but actually the armor is pretty good. You have 1260 millimeters in the front of the turret. And 740 even inside. Expect those huge weak spots if they are actually weak spots and still 185 on the back of your turret so the turret is yeah pretty heavily armored but when we see um the hull 714 in the front that's not too much so 714 let's head over again to the xm183 we have about 800 millimeters of penetration. So with only 740 something like this in the hull, uh, uh, 140 millimeters should have no problems going through there. So 120, okay. I see no way penetrating this one but 140 140 will shoot right through you so this is a little bit disappointing when you compare it to the stats it should have in real <laughs> yeah real but um yeah 340 in the sides 145 in the back also nothing too crazy going on here Let's see the ammunition. So we have a 125 millimeter gun. Damage 871 per round and 773 of pen. So a T14 will penetrate another T14 in frontal fight, even with the 125. Accuracy of zero. 0.13 so basically the same 3.6 seconds aim speed and 7.5 reload time so we actually have a better reload time on the 125 than the USA and Germany on their 120 oh yeah sure we're an auto loader gun yeah sure 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 but let's see the 152 we have a <laughs> thousand one hundred damage per round, eight thirty five of penetration. <laughs> this is insane, and accuracy of zero point one four. That's not too bad when you think about it. It's a uh, hundred fifty two. Um, where it is? Where it is? Wolfley, hundred fifty two. Let's see. They have yeah zero point one seven and we have point one four on our meta so way better ac oh, way but much better accuracy than the MBT seventy and twelve point seven seconds reload is just way too much for this tank and here we have nine point two base so. Yeah, that's nothing too crazy, so, or it's actually pretty crazy when you think um, 125, 7.5, and here we have 9.2, it's not not even two seconds longer for <laughs> 1,100 damage, so, and 835 of pen, so this is pretty insane. Then the rockets are, yeah, basically whatever reload time of 10.5 weight time 1.5 and um, they're slow so 
also only 200 meters per second, but you have 1474 of pen and 1341 as damage, so that's that's pretty insane as penetration. You could penetrate another T14's um, turret in the front with this one, so pretty freaking high penetration and there are tandem heats so even they will even th um, smash through era and the thermo barracks are yeah non penetrating damage up to 721 they're also not too bad too bad so what do we have armor retrofit mobility retrofit universal retrofit so at least three re oh and another firepower okay okay so even the russians get four retrofit slots on their main battle tank and now the challenger to be people hate the agility or don't like the ability ability agility of the challenger 2 we have 7.3 from 0 to 32, so 7.3. Here we have 7. So, yes, you are a little bit more mobile by 0.3 seconds. Yeah, that's not too much. So, I don't think the Challenger 2 will be much more agile than the uh, normal Challenger 2. But let's talk armor because this thing is freaking insane talking about armor. We have 953 in the turret. Sure. Um, we didn't have previews, so let's head over to the preview. Well, so era all over this tank, even the turret and the back is completely caged unless you manage to hit around <laughs> right in the middle um, but yeah this thing is again protected like <laughs> I don't know Fort Knox so yeah dealing with this thing will give you a really hard time and I think this one will be a weak spot as usual But back, back to the stats. Two defensive retrofits, one mobility and one universal. So also four retros. And yeah, the armor is pretty awesome. So you still have 780 in the side. And yeah, the only thing you don't have or you should not do is turn your back to the enemy. But that's, yeah. Whoever does this with a tank, um, please, please kill yourself. Um, but armor overall is pretty insane. And against shape charge, so rockets and stuff. Oh my god, this is, yeah, this is some serious armor. And we have 120 millimeters with 650 damage and 626 of pen. And we have 140 with 770 damage. Yeah, that's where the Russians have 1,100 damage. And 730 of pen. Fun fact. You can't penetrate another Challenger 2B in the side with 140. Because you have 730 of pen and 780 of armor. So, yeah. <laughs> You're pretty much screwed seeing another Challenger 2B. Um, 10 seconds reload time, seems like this is the base stat for uh, the 140, 2.9 seconds aim time, I think this is, yeah, faster by 0.7, something like this, um, than the other guns, yeah, and, yeah, 2.9 aim speed, sure, nothing, nothing too crazy going on here, but, um, yeah, you have you have the armor, and that's what it's all about, the challengers. And now for our final tier 10 vehicle, PL01. Let's see the preview if something changed here. And nope. Still looks like 
an elephant whatsoever let's see the upgrades okay you have improved armor so you basically have 1.5 and can upgrade to 1.85 so nothing too crazy going on here um 550 in the front so basically everyone and everything will shoot right through your front even through the turret because you basically have no armor at all on this tier for a main battle tank and also with the upgraded version no you basically have no armor at all and you also get only a 120 millimeter gun so 622 damage and 767 penetration you could penetrate uh, a challenger 2b with this one accuracy is okay with 0.12 aim time with 3.5 sucks balls but reload time is actually pretty good with 6.48 but Oh yeah, and, and you have heat. I don't think any other tier 10 vehicle has heat ammunition. They have rockets. But with 656 and 760... So 760 damage and 656 millimeters of penetration. And yeah, you can shoot against or fight another PL-01, but... Sorry guys. This thing is just a joke. <laughs> I see no reason driving the thing as an MBT. Oh, it actually shouldn't be an MBT. I was talking shit, it's <laughs> the fall of the M8, so... Let's see its speed. It's lower than a T40, uh, T14. Um, its camo rating is actually pretty good, so the thing has yeah no view range at all, but its camo rating is insane for a vehicle this size. But yeah, man, you. I I don't know where this vehicle should fit, and um, when you like the XM8, the M8. It's probably the vehicle for you, but the gun is okay, not really good. Your speed is slower than other main battle tanks. Your aim time actually just sucks. Your accuracy sucks. So I don't I don't know what to say about this one. As a main battle tank, it sucks balls, but it shouldn't be a main battle tank, or it isn't. It's a high caliber light armor vehicle, and yeah, I don't know what to say about this one. Good camo rating, excellent camo rating for a vehicle this size, but it's slow and the armament is not the best one. I don't know, man. I don't know. You can even increase its camo factor. No, this one is base. Yeah, right. This one is stock on it. Man. Improved auto load, a rate of 5 by 5% 5 increased. This vehicle has everything but nothing right. So. I actually don't know what to say about this one. yeah that's that's basically <laughs> where we end this video um with the p o zero one l t or the tier ten l t um with i don't know what to think about this vehicle no idea i still think it looks like a dead elephant <laughs> and with this said i'm out bye see you soon